we're going to review the deep urogenital anatomy of the female cat. First, you're going to want to pull your intestines over to one side to expose this area of the cat. Over here, you're going to have this round structure, which is going to be known as your kidney. Usually on top of the kidney, you're going to have glands, which are going to be known as your adrenal glands. But on this cat, they've been dissected out, so you're unable to see them. Going down from the kidney, you're going to have this cord here, which you can see is coming out of the kidney. And this is going to be known as your ureter. The ureter is then going to run down and meet the bladder, which is this structure here. The bladder is usually held to the wall of the abdomen by this ligament here, which is called the suspensory ligament. Going down from the bladder, this cord is then going to become your urethra. Going back up, you're going to come across this round structure here. It's going to be very tiny. This is going to be known as your ovary. Next, you're going to come across this here, which is going to be known as your fallopian tube. This larger curved structure is going to be known as your uterine horn. You can see on this cat that there's round structures within the uterine horn. And it's this way because this cat is pregnant. So this is gonna be where the fetus are going to be developing. Where these two, where each side of the uterine horns connect, which is right here, this is gonna be known as the body of the uterus. The uterus and the uterine horns are going to be held down to the wall by a ligament called the broad ligament. Specifically, the ovary being held down to the wall is going to be known as your meso-ovarium within the broad ligament. Going down from the uterine body of the uterus, you're going to come across a hard structure. It's going to be very firm, and that's going to be known as the cervix. And then below the cervix is going to be the vagina. On the outside of the vagina, you're going to have this structure here, which is going to be known as your labia majora. And that's going to be the deep urogenital anatomy of the female cap.